What's up, y'all? It's me, your favorite broadcast journalist from the DMV. You're watching the Jamie O'Shea Show. I am here at Arundel Mills, and today I am interviewing an artist by the name of Y. King. He is from Washington, D.C. And we're just going to sit down. We're going to talk to him. He is a rapper. Um, we're going to ask him a few questions, get to know him a little bit, and then you'll get to hear an exclusive freestyle from him. Also, he has an album dropping, so uh, we can't wait to get more information about that. One of the good things about Y. King is that he's, you know, kind of like a multi-talented artist, I want to say. So not only does he rap, he can sing. He can play instruments. Um, you know, he also produces a little bit, manages the whole nine. So, you know, actually, I'm thinking about maybe he can manage me. We can, you know, make some connections or whatever, you know. So, um, that's one of the creative things that I actually like about him. So, we're going to get to hear a little more. And it's just coming up next. Keep it locked on the Jamie O'Shea Show. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Y. King. That's Y. Dot K. I and G, be more in front of that DC behind that, you know what I'm saying? I'm an artist who submitted my music to HBCU hits. Um, and now we're here. So we're gonna have a blast. Um, people follow me on, on The Real, T -A, that's T-H-E-R-E-A-L, Y King, Y K I N G, all one word. You can Google that, The Real Y King, real simple. I'm lit, album coming out, Caviar Music, coming out next month. Don't be a square, be a champion. Eh? As you already know, I have partnered with HBCU Hits, which is an online radio station for exclusive music that is played for us and by us. Now, I just want everyone to know that um, you don't have to be from the DMV area to submit your tracks on HBCU Hits. This is worldwide. You know, you could be in Paris and submit your track to HBCU Hits. We're not only looking for artists, but, you know, we're looking for rappers, singers, all genres of music. So I'm talking hip hop, R&B, classical, country, rock, go-go, gospel, and even spoken word artists. It's in the, the possibilities are endless when it comes to submitting your tracks on HBCU hits. We're calling all artists, all artists come out, submit your tracks, and then you get the exclusive interview with me, Jamie O'Shea. So keep it locked. You're watching the Jamie O'Shea Show, the home of where empowerment and entertainment meet. What's up, y'all? You're watching the Jamie O'Shea Show, and I'm sitting here with Y. Dot King. Welcome. Hey. Welcome. Hey. So nice to finally meet you in person. Yes, pleasure. I'm trying to, uh, what is it, Instagram stalking you? So right. Hey, now. No, it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. This is what we do. Not no, he's, he's really not. He's really not. Don't believe that, y'all. <laughs> But anyway, so, you know, we met, we spoke, but for the audience that doesn't know you, just tell us a little bit about yourself. We already know your name is Y.Kim, of course, but um, tell the audience about yourself, how old you are, and how old were you when you started rapping? I'm 24. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm 24. <laughs> All that. 24. Lit. I know. Um, I started doing music when I was 13, like right in. Um, I started performing, uh, I started recording when I was 14, so I started writing when I was 13, before, uh, recording at 14, and performing at 16. Um, I'm a man of God, man. You know, she said, yes. tell you something about me, so that's that's the main thing, like, I just, that's How that's my thing. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to, you know, but that's my thing. So. Absolutely, because, you know, I agree with you, like, if you put God in front of everything you do, you will succeed, so. so background do you play any instruments or anything like that absolutely um i play the drums uh oh yes and i how long have you been playing i've been playing the drums since i was about four or five are you serious that's serious my dad man he, he's a drummer his name is Scott. he used to play with um chuck brown back in the day are you serious yeah wow. he ain't stay too long but you know it's all wow. good he got his own band right now uh -huh. so um, it's just um, running off through your blood yeah man um, so yeah, I play the drums. I'm working on the, the keyboard as well because uh -huh. I, I hear harmonies and melodies, but I, I'm uh -huh. just trying to learn how to how to translate them to to the keyboard. Do you sing? Slightly, slightly. Uh oh, okay. We not might... Usher, nothing, bro. That's all you. 
Shout out my man B Carla and all the actual singers that do that. You okay. feel me? But I can I can hang a little bit. Okay, so let's talk about your process when you are recording. Okay. Okay, so when you go and you get in the booth now, <clears throat> do you write and then have uh, your flow ready for when you get in the booth? Or do you just kinda get there and freestyle and just have it come out of nowhere? Like what type of what type of rapper are you? Like, you know. Well for one I'm an artist. I'm not limited to, to yes. a specific yes. expression of the art form. Um, but we're going to talk rap. Right? Yeah. Let me not be, yeah. let me not yeah. be artsy. We're going to yeah. talk rap. So yeah. what I do is, usually, man, it depends on the severity of the song. There's cases where I would pray, man, before I, you know what I'm saying? I would pray Absolutely. before I write. My like God, like, you know, and let him Absolutely. influence my, my abilities. There's sometimes where I will go in the studio and just zap. If it's been a while, like the video I submit, I showed her, um, my first time back in the studio in, in a year. Two songs was already pre-written. The third one, which is apparently my new single, Curve, coming out. Ow. It was That was a freestyle. So, you know, I can do whatever I want to do. There's no limit to my abilities. There's no limit to how I can function. If okay. I want to pre-write, I can pre-write. Uh -huh. I want to do it now. So, I will say this. Now into the, this portion of my career, I want to just go into the studio and leave it there. I don't want to have, I don't want to come to the studio with stuff written. I want to go in there, create, and leave it there. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Come on, talk talent to self, okay? So, let me, um, sure. let me see this. So, when you, I guess, okay, here's, here's how I want to say it. What's your top five favorite artists in the game right now? Yo, yeah. that's crazy. Somebody yeah. just asked me that last night. Yeah. My man just asked me that. Yeah. Um, I'ma say right now to be a hundred. Right now, I'ma say, I'ma say Davies. What up, East? I'ma say, um, I'ma say Tory Lanez. Love it. I'ma say, um, who else do I really be listening to? I gotta say Ti still. That's really actually my Love favorite it. artist of all time right now. Um, I'ma say, so that's three. Yeah. I'ma say, um. Meek Mill still. Okay. I love Meek. There he wants to know. You know, that's my man. Okay. Um, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say Rose. I'm bugging. So Wale, take me go. Give me Wale and, and Rose. Definitely Wale. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that's my arch nemesis, man. Okay. Like, in the most respectful manner, like, my pen is shot. Because to be, I think, pen-wise, I think he the Jordan of the pen. Who? Wale. Pen-wise, his pen is Jordan-ish. Like, the stuff he be talking about. And so I look at him on some Kobe shit because like he pushes my you pen right. like you hard. Right. I'm not talking about the way he makes songs. I'm talking about his, that nigga's pen is nasty. It is nasty. It's gross. It is nasty. So. Shout out to Wale. It's DMV. He be yeah. holding it down. I yeah. hear you throwing Lando out there on everything. You know, it's all good. So, oh, and KD <laughs> though. I mean, we a little, that's a little off track, but just can we give it up for KD? Shout out to KD. Be pleasant. So now can you come to the Wizards? We're gonna leave that alone. I mean, for real? I mean, just. just it's your contract. We're gonna leave that alone. I mean, any day. Oh, uh -huh. hold Any day. So, let's let's get back to business, you know. So, you have this single, mm -hmm. and it's called Curve. Absolutely. So, just 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 give me the background on Curve. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I, I listened to it, I enjoyed it, and okay. I know that there's a story behind it. And I would like to hear that. That song Curve is about. We curve a lot in this generation. We play a lot of games, nobody wants to get hurt. Everybody got the ulterior motives. And the word curve obviously comes from playing games. So there was a situation where there was a young lady who I really wanted to rock with, who I was trying to reach out to that wasn't trying to, that was curving me. So okay. I'm in a better position now, and now, you know, I have to curve her back. It's unfortunate. She's on you. She on you now. It's unfortunate. Ooh. But that's the way life goes. He said back then they didn't want him. Now he hot and they all on him. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. I'm just saying, yes. Curve is fire. Yeah. I, I enjoy it. I enjoyed it when I made it because it was different for me. Right. Playing with the melodies and yeah. all that. Which yeah. I always have like melodies in my songs, but singing is fun. So come yeah. to find out, people enjoy it too. Is that what you want to give us today? You're going to give us a little sample of that? You got some, some, something no. else. Okay. I'm going to just give you some bars today. My throat. It's all good. You know, I just had, I, I, I was reaching. She tried it. I was reaching. It's beautiful. Like, man, Envy, Charlamagne. Hey. 
I'm coming for you, Charlemagne. Oh, wow. I'm coming for you, That's baby. Yes. Yeah. No, not like that. It's all love. It's all love. For people that are just listening and they want to hear more of your music, um, where can they where can they find you at if they want to go to um, your shows um, or, or, or whatever? Where can they find you at? Um, website is being put in the mix. But for right now, SoundCloud, um, The Real, you know, spell correctly, it's one more than it's the, uh, just, just Google The Real Y King. That's T-H-E-R-E-A-L-Y-K-I-N-G, one word. Once you see Google, I mean, once you hit Google, I'm there. You can put the same thing with all my tags, Instagram, Twitter, I'm in there. Again, you know, the exclusive interview, you're watching the Jamie O'Shea Show. This is the home of where empowerment and entertainment meets. Um, you know, you can check out y.king on hbcu hits you can google him you heard the man just check his music out until next time y'all be blessed amen so the game changed now this is all for the top competition gets swept blood is on the floor we all need a mop it's crazy because back then it was gang banging that we had to worry about but now it's gang bang or getting robbed by the cops is different I'm paying attention, so I gotta keep my eyes sharp. Mom said you want a ring, you gotta play your part. That's basketball. She be on smart. That's wild though. But back to the subject. It's so wild now, cause now I'm in my own space. I'm in a different state and still seeming mad, mad, mad angry about the different shit. Like, we see murders and be so hesitant. Like, like it's every day, niggas dying every day. That's reality. I know you can't be mad at me, but it's Mortal Kombat in the streets, a fatality just for being black. What kind of shit is that? It's a notoriety. Mm. No apologies, Lord. This is just the fire in me. It's called the passion. I'm laughing, but shit, I'm crying inside because really it's deep, though. It used to be easy, but now niggas is shooting way too easy like Ray Allen at the free throw. Boss, pardon me, though. Almost finished. Mm -hmm. Pardon me, though. Because <clears throat> a part of me, though, Feel like grabbing a pistol to shoot on white guys. Like Pistol Pete, get it? With the white lines. <laughs> but now niggas getting charged hockey time for a white line. Like hockey time as in the numbers on the jersey when it's time to play hockey. You know, it's like 30, 50. Anyway, all I'm saying is this. If you want to survive, you better stay on your knees. Talking to God so he can show you how to stay away from them D's. Listen, I paid attention. I like Jets. There was no need for me to invade none of them trees. I'm talking getting high. And I'm not crucifying anybody that do. I'm just trying to tell you, pay attention to what it's doing to you. Because everybody looking like a zombie outside. They want to be Beyonce and Jay-Z, right? How you going to get there if your mind all twisted? My pops always told me, a wise man, listen. Boss. Uh, no, no, hold on, right here, just right here, right here, right here, right here. Yes, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you guys, Thank man. You so Inspired much. me to, you know. Thank you up. so much. I love it. This is the exclusive. Remember, I did it first. <laughs> Check it. Psych, no, I'm just playing. You guys, so you all, as you already know. That's Y dot K I N G. Be more in front of that DC behind that, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm live right now with the J O mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. Don't you know what I'm saying? I just like to. I don't, you gotta help me. Yeah. No, okay. We're gonna do it again, my bad. <laughs>